Hi folks, in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Bunsen burner. It's the one piece of equipment that kids are keen to use when they start learning science in high school. And as a teacher, it's something that we want them to learn to use safely. So here's the Bunsen burner sitting with its base on a heat proof mat. This part is known as the chimney, this is the air hole, and this is the rubber tubing that connects the Bunsen burner to the gas tap. To light the Bunsen burner, we should first close the air hole completely. We can then turn on the gas tap, light a match and hold it at arm's length above the top of the Bunsen. You should also be standing up with long hair tied back and any flammable materials placed well out of the way. Now you'll see that when I open up the air hole, we get a very different flame. It changes from yellow to blue. Let's look at the two different types of flame in more detail then. So you can see that there are some pretty obvious differences as far as the colour and shape of the flame goes. With the air hole closed, the flame is yellow in colour, has an irregular shape and is a good bit higher. When the air hole is opened, the flame is far more regular in shape with an outer cone, which is difficult to see here, and a triangular inner cone. For obvious reasons, we call this the blue flame. And what do the flames sound like? First off, this is the yellow flame. Pretty quiet then. Next up, the blue flame. This is why the blue flame is often referred to as the roaring blue flame. The next thing I'm going to do is to place a wire gauze into the flames to find out how hot they are. It doesn't take very long before the gauze in the blue flame is glowing red hot so we can see that this is by far the hotter flame. You can open up the air hole by turning something called the collar and this allows more oxygen to mix with the gas which results in complete combustion of the gas and therefore more heat. The yellow flame is sometimes called the safety flame but this is only because it's easier to see. It's still very hot so you still have to be very careful with it. Finally, I'm going to place a piece of white tile into both flames. When the air hole is closed, as it is with the yellow flame, the gas only mixes with the air at the top of the chimney and there isn't enough oxygen for complete combustion to take place. Because of this, carbon soot is produced and you can see this forming in the tile on the left. If you tried to heat a beaker of water on a tripod above a Bunsen burner on a yellow flame, you'd find that the beaker quickly turns black with soot as well. Until next time, see you later.